Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping the new safe out, the streak even. We're jumping in again, and this time we got good old forgotten again. But there he is, but the tainted version this time. Um, so a little more intriguing, a little bit more risk, and the game has instantly crashed. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna stick I'm gonna let you guys stick with me for this process. A little bit of black screen never hurt anyone. Um, we're gonna hope that that's not, like, broken broken, because otherwise I'm gonna have to reset my streak. We're on a 46, I think. Um, so we'll see if this is broken broken or not. Um, but I've never had that happen before. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of a wild one. There we go, we're back in the game at least. Right. Would we like to try again? Nah, it's buggered. Right, I'll have to fix this. One second. Okay, we're back in it, and I don't know if this will have ended my streak or not, but I can reset it back to 46, or what will hopefully be 47 after this run, if it did get reset by that. But that's why we've got to have this mod that allows us to reset our streak, because shenanigans happen. Shenanigans happen, there's not much you can do about it. Right, let's try our best to not get memed on here. I, I don't like the fires, man. The fires are spooking me heavily. Good, good, we got him. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a bit of a wild one here. Been a bit of a wild one. I can't remember if I can throw you into this and grab it. Yes, I can for free. Good, good. Couldn't remember if that had hurt me or not. <clears throat> Quickly destroy you. And we can fly on into here and get some freebies or get nothing. Even better than a freebie. No, a, bomb, a bomb's fine. Don't disrespect a bomb. Ooh, and white rose. Not too bad. The wisps won't last long, but the fire rate is quite is quite nice, um, and the the uh, the soul heart is also pretty good for us this early on. Secret room is looking to be right above us. I'm just going to quickly check over here to see if that is the case. It's almost definitely there, uh, but I'll, I'll keep moving on just to see if there's any other likely locations. But now that we've got a second bomb, I'm, I'm definitely going to check that one. I think. Good. We're doing just fine though. Not much I can do to do anything with that bomb. Really? 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 I'm gonna plop my friend down right in the middle of all that fire. Okay. <clears throat> right. Boss time it is. Nice and easy one, this one. Nice and easy one. Do you know, for some reason, I, even though this makes no sense, I've got like a really strong picture in my head of playing Undermine right now. This is reminding me of playing Undermine. I don't know why. Undermine was a great series I did on my channel. For any of you that haven't seen Undermine or heard of it, or just haven't seen me play it, definitely a series on my channel I'd recommend checking out. I had a lot of fun with that game. I played it quite a bit. Um, it's something that I am interested in bringing back. It's a game that now isn't receiving any more updates. It's kind of done. Uh, but it, it's it's a really, really well-polished roguelike game. Uh, that's got a bit of uniqueness to it. It's, it's definitely got a bit of difference to it, and I think it's quite quite an interesting game. Um, it's definitely one of those roguelikes that you... It, it, it's like... It kind of came and went pretty quickly. But it's still, yeah, really really an in interesting game and quite fun. Um, if anyone hasn't seen it yet, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Uh, well, that, that can be the question of the day, actually. What's a relatively, like, out of the zeitgeist, out of the popular roguelike sphere... Um, roguelike that you really like, that you think more people should be paying attention to. It can be a really old one that's not getting updates anymore, or one that's still new and still receiving updates. Uh, but what's one that you've you've barely seen any content creators cover that deserves some respect and deserves a, a second look? I know that there's people out there like Alexa that are doing like let's look at so all the new ones and stuff. So a lot of them have been covered in one respect or another, but. Maybe they haven't got people making actual YouTube series on them, and it's just kind of like a, a bit of a shame that you don't really see much like proper content regarding them. Are we all good on here? That we are. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know, because there is just, yeah, there's just obviously the roguelike genre has boomed over the past few years, especially like the past sort of four or five years, especially. The roguelike genre has really boomed quite a bit, which is good because roguelikes have always been my favourite sort of game, and I think a lot of people have been introduced to it with, uh, I think, I think Hades was a big introducer to the genre, because it's, it's by a sort of bigger studio, and it's sort of a higher budget game, um, but I feel like it's, yeah, it's, a lot of people have this kind of, I, I wouldn't say as much so anymore, but for a while there, a lot of people kind of had this amnesty against, uh, against 
indie games, and a lot of people kind of wouldn't play them because of their sort of they might be lower quality or whatever, or they aren't as polished. But that's like literally entirely flipped now. <laughs> now it's the AAA games that are the ones that aren't polished. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's, it's, it's completely changed how people think about gaming, really. Uh, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be really interesting to know um, if it's something that, for one, I should check out on the channel, but also something that you may think is worthwhile me checking out just in my free time, a game that you guys think I might enjoy. Because um, there, there's just plenty out there to go at. Ooh, we got a card against humanity. That's that's something special right there. We also got into our boss trap room here. Wooden spoon, of course, not the best item in the world, but for the low, low cost of killing two hopefully relatively easy bosses, I don't mind. Oh, that was kind of close. Good. good. And who's up next? The two fire boys. Unfortunately, this guy is likely to hit me. He is a bit of a, a bit of a goober. I don't much like him. He can hit me pretty easily a lot of the time. But I think we just about got him there. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, Cardian's Humanity is absolutely fantastic um, early on. We can get some good stuff out of it. Now, this, this big room here, we don't have a ton of space in this room. So I was going to originally plop it down in this room, but I think we hold off for a larger room. Uh, a room with, with more floor space available. Although that room is decent, like, no doubt about that, but... There's going to be, like, next stage or the stage after that has a, um, a lot more space to work with. I guess we should check our shop to see if there's anything, sort of, we want this floor with money. Because, obviously, we'll be getting a lot of money from Card Against Humanity. So, maybe we should check that out just in case first. Because then we can plop it down on this floor and afford it. I'm not sure what's, what, what's the better option. Because the thing is, the more space, the more stuff we get, the higher chance of getting Petrified Poop, which we obviously need for this. Roid Rage, good. I always forget Roid Rage isn't just a boss item. I always assume it is. But we've got good speed now, really good speed. Remember when Roid Rage used to be a 0.6 speed upgrade? God damn. Oh, I'm taking some bad damage here. Box, unfortunately, not the best for us. <clears throat> um, trinket that doesn't matter as well. Super secret room, we will we'll take that, yes, and see what we get. Some decent stuff there, nice. Um, okay, Fiend Folio has definitely got some, some weird issues going on at the minute, because I'm unable to pick up the Immoral Hearts. I can pick it up with a swing, but I can't walk into it to pick it up. What's, what's the interaction there? Interesting. Don't exactly know what that's about, but hey her. Right, yeah, let's quickly check in here and just see if there's anything worth buying in here. Okay, this is this is pretty decent. Car batteries, of course, very good. Um, so maybe, maybe we ought to go for this. <clears throat> it's just there's not a ton of space to work with. Um, let me, let me bomb a few of the, a few of the high concentration areas. And this is a slight waste of bombs here, but... I think for getting more poops down, it is valuable. And we'll, we'll use this room, because I, I, I would very much like to buy car battery. I think, obviously, car battery is an item that most people would agree is pretty goddamn good. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to Hades 2 as well. Uh, Hades is a game that I actually thoroughly enjoyed and did a bit on my channel as well, but it just it just didn't do very well on YouTube. I think it's just one of those roguelikes that people enjoy playing more than they enjoy watching. Um, so it was kind of a shame in that regard. <clears throat> good, good. Come on, Petrified Poop. Don't let me down here. So far, we've had literally no drops, apart from that one penny. So far, we're not doing so hot. There we go, we've got Petrified Poop. Good, good. You just hope to get Petrified Poop early. Still isn't going to be the best usage I've ever seen. But not bad. Not bad. We'll get a good amount of money out of it. Enough to buy a uh, car battery, at least, obviously. Might get a luck penny out of it, maybe. 
If we are lucky. There you go. There you go. What did I just say? What did I just say? Yeah, it's definitely not been the best petrified poop ever, but it's been pretty good. I was hoping we'd get at least one soul heart out of this, which looks like we might not get, which is unfortunate. But the money, the money has uh, has been very, very good to us so far, so I can't complain too much. We got one more poop here. I think that's it, is it? That's it. Okay, not the best, but definitely by no means the worst. We can grab this and grab that and grab that. Lovely stuff. I like the way our little ghosties have little thrown burn buddies on their heads as well. Look, <laughs> it's cute. Our little mini Isaacs. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Ah, really? Okay, down we go. Good HP, good money for the next few floors. I think that worked out nicely. Like I said, I would have liked to have gotten a bit of HP out of that. Like, there's definitely a few roguelikes that are on my radar that I want to play more of. Voidigo, I want to I want to jump back to. I don't even know really why I stopped playing Voidigo. I think it was just like at a time when I had less free time. And so I, I stopped it just because I needed more free time. Um, but Voidigo I'd like to bring back because I really enjoyed Voidigo. Um... Atomocrops, I'm I'm not sure, but I've heard it as a pretty interesting modding scene, which definitely definitely brings me to it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like farming games really, so Atomocrops, from what I've seen gameplay wise, I've watched a bit of it of like um Alexa play it and stuff. It doesn't properly look like my sort of thing, but I've been I've been suggested it so much and <clears throat> as I said, I, I've heard it as a pretty strong modding scene and of course, you can you can always lure me in with a modding scene. But one one thing that's like that that annoys me at the moment with like roguelikes and just gaming in general, and it, it happens a good bit, is games that like come out and they have their their cool like advertising niche to bring people in, but they're really just not a very good game, or they don't have a lot of depth as, uh, as well. I, I think a lot of people or a lot of companies are trying to cash in on the roguelike hype without really understanding what the what roguelikes are or what makes them special um because i mean the unfortunately for re the rest of roguelike um just the rest of all roguelike games binding of isaac is just the 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 absolute like golden sort of the best of the best because it has just an unfathomable unfathomable amount of content in it um the amount of items and, and enemies and all that sort of stuff there's just an insane amount of content in there that like it's kind of like the pinnacle because of that not just because of the game itself because of the amount of variety but like take a look at AK Lottle, at a or whatever you want to call it um it came out um uh, yeah I'll, I'll stick with this uh it came out like uh, like six months ago or so and uh, granted i haven't actually had a good look at the game since it came out but my god, was that game so unbelievably lackluster. Like, that game had, like, the most basic, basic, like, premise of combat and the most minimal amount of variety and actual content in the game. It, it was, it was really, really bad. It just, it just did not have anything close to enough to, to be a roguelike. Like, it was, it was a roguelike in the sense that if you die, you start a run from the beginning. But, like... All of your runs you saw, very similar rooms, very similar enemies, the same five or six items, the same five or six guns, and it, that's just that's just not what a roguelike is, like, at all. You can't just, just because it's got some roguelike-esque properties doesn't really make it a true roguelike, I, I don't think. And there's a lot of those coming out where there's these clones where companies are trying, but they're not really capturing the spirit of what makes a good roguelike, and so they're releasing these kind of half-baked games with, like, Season pass content updates. Season one, you'll get this. It's like, no. You need a really, really decent, also more speed, you need a really, really decent base level of content to add a lot of variety, along with some, like, unlock methods for, for building upon that. Uh, I'll take clutches. It's a little annoying, but it's not that bad. Oh, D12 kind of interesting. Um, Look down, unfortunately. Oh, clutch immediately I regret the decision to take you, you absolute bastard. Immediately I regret the decision. Um With flight he's a little more annoying, I think. 
Good thing is when when that happens, we don't always like utilize him like that. Okay. My priest is good for a boss. Don't really know where I'm going to use my D12 yet. I haven't fully decided where that's going to be best used, but here seems good enough. Right. First of all, destroy this. There's one of those done. And in here we've got a lovely little bed to lay on to get ourselves some soul heart health. Yeah, I, th I think that game was just, like, it, it probably has received some content updates by now, I'd, I'd imagine. Um, but, like, I just, you're not going to grip a real, like, roguelike player if you if you release a pretty half-baked roguelike that doesn't have much content. It's just not, like, the roguelike community, the general, like, player base, they're looking for these, these, I wouldn't say Isaac it needs to be the, the sort of amount of things you have. But looking for these things to have a good amount of variety in their runs through uh, items, enemies, and weapons. Like, the, it needs to be, like, a decent amount. Dude, clutch, you big bitch. Oh, for God's sake, why'd I do that? Causing myself problems here. Ooh, Capricorn's good, though. We like Capricorn, thank you. I'm causing myself more problems than I'm fixing here. Right, just make sure to throw him in the correct position here. Just pay attention. He's, it'd be nice if the audio was slightly more prominent, but I also get why it isn't. Actually, it's kind of good to have petrified poop in this situation. We're creating a good amount of poops. Right, money just keeps rolling in right now. We are getting so much money. Hello, Steven. Ah, I could be tempted by Steven on this run, to be honest. I could be tempted. It's been, it's been a, a long while since we've gone to the Steven floor. And I do have quite a lot of money with me. And I do have the ability to get to secret rooms easily. And we do have a few items that I'd be willing to trade. It's just, like I said, it's annoying that we can trade a passive and get a get an active. That's that's the one deterrent for me every time from going to that floor. I do not want to I do not want to trade a passive item and get an active item. That's just not fun. Right, what we got going on here? This is good. This still has a really misleading description. It does it when you take a pill, not just all the time, even though the thing says, pretty much frames it as if it's all the time. Dude, we got a lot of golden poops there. I'm surprised golden poops don't have their own drop. That was a really stupid hit there. Okay, that's Penny getting me there. It's just, I don't know. It's not worth it, I don't think. It's just not. I thought Laffy does. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. HP there, fortunately, not the best for us, but it keeps us healthy. It keeps us going. One moment. Right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. We've got an XL floor here as well. Not too bad. See that clutch curse? That's where you're good. That's where we like you. Doing some beautiful stuff. I just realized as well that I have um, car battery D12, which I don't think does anything, but I'm not entirely sure. It might do something. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we will take that, you know. Oh. Clutch is curse. Be more obvious when you're ready, please. This is good because we've got the slowing down thing now, and we produce two pills each time. So we can find our good pills. And nicely slow down the runes. Basically, we can use an I'm Drowsy every time, which I think is pretty good. And that works quite nicely. Of course, obviously, certain pills aren't going to be of any value to us.
But if we can find the ones that are of value to us, we can make this work, and this is actually a pretty good active to, ha to have. Especially with it being car battery-ified. And if we can get something that makes it charge faster as well, that'd be even better. I like the poison on touch thing. That's, that's going good for us right now. Beautiful. Oh, stop turning into water bottles. I wanted that pill. <laughs> Such bullshit, man. Too many things can turn to water bottles these days. Are we both range? Our range is pretty pretty bad right now. Oh, look at that. How, how is that not hitting him? Bugger off. Oop, I got a look up there. I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay, so there you go, Clutch. I saw you that time. I saw you. Good thing uh, this time around we have very good HP. HP is doing some good stuff. Right, Clutch is ready once again. This is actually a pretty, pretty good grab. Last time this paid out pretty well for me, so I'm going to take that again. Um... Yeah, Clutch, you're not really doing much for me, though, are you? You're trying. You're trying, but you're not really helping all that much. Okay. Pop that again. Slow down this room. It does make the room a lot easier, I'll say that. That's a lo another look down. I'm, I'm sorry, but one room worth of drowsy is not worth a look down. It just isn't. Give me some better pills, game. But the good thing is there is some probably very good pills in the roster that we haven't come across yet that can be very, very nice for us. Which I'm quite excited for. And then here, your listen. Your listen is not bad, and it's a look upgrade as well, lovely. There you go, look at him there. Telling us there's a tinted rock that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Thank you, thank you. Not that we need it, but it's good to know it's there. God damn, okay. Shop time. Don't know what that is. Charge baby. Do not mind a charge baby. More pills. Holy. Speed down. Infested. Moon. Ooh, this could be good. I have a Lyle. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this is a normal gold, golden penny. That's kind of interesting. So, I've got a mod that changes golden pennies, but because it basically just replaces real golden pennies with a, a new type of golden penny, if a golden penny is, is already spawned in a room, it won't be changed. It'll be the default one. It's kind of funny. Oh, Clutch, you've just got to fuck off. <laughs> Try to get the all stats up. Ah. Unfortunate, no all stats up for us. But Eyeball Isle, I think is good. I don't know if it does much for us, but it's a good item. We know that. Stop doing your little giggles, you freak. We've seen the item room. This is an XL floor, so we've got another item room somewhere around. That we should probably try and find. I want more range, man. My range sucks. Also, we've got another pill in here that I'd like to see. Thank you. Get back here, you. Heart container. Nice. Not that, that does too much for us, but it's good nonetheless. Estrogen up does nothing for us. Great. Charge baby gave us an extra charge there for enemy dying, I think. 
lemon juice. Yeah, I really like this item. It's good. For some reason, when I've slurred, those explosion shots turn to fire shots. I'm not quite sure why that is. Alright, second item room. Eden's Blessing, which unfortunately still doesn't work. If anyone knows why Eden's Blessing doesn't work, I would love to know. Because it would definitely help with the streaks if it did. Maybe what I'll do is there is there any way to give like is there any console command to give myself an entirely random item? Because maybe after knowing I've got it and knowing it's like doesn't work, I should give myself one in the next run and just see what happens. Because it could be a bad item. Oh, dude, take some dumb damage here. Take some dumb damage here. Didn't mean to open that right. I think we're ready to go. Probably should have got a pill ready for this, but what's done is done. Doesn't matter. I got a pill anyways. We got double estrogen ups. And we get some little shoesies from this. Having this, having this slowdown is very, very useful. Especially with the poison as well. I keep forgetting about the poison. Easy. Um, and then we'll go for... Negative for some reason? I don't know why I did that. Soul Locket is pretty good. Don't know why I took that. Oh, dude. I didn't even take the Soul Heart that was on the floor there. Eve's Mascara is pretty good. Is that? I'm pretty sure that's Fruitcake. I can't be sure of it, but I think it's Fruitcake. Let's gamble. Nope, it's Gideon's Gears. God damn it. Gideon's Gears is still pretty good. Didn't really want to do boss rush here, but what's done is done. I kind of did it because it's going to be easy once we get the slowdown going. Damn it, I really thought I was getting fruitcake there. Now, I might get some other pill effects that are really good anyways. That can hurt me. Okay, good to know. Did not know that. Was not aware. Got a red poop there as well. Lovely. That's going to stay. Oh, no. It does actually transform. I thought it was going to stay until the very end. Range down. Holy poop. Unfortunately, doesn't really do much for us, but... Yeah, everything's slowed down for the t entire duration now, I think. Okay. Forget how this attack works for you. What are you two doing? Where did you two even come from? I don't remember. Yeah, we're killing stuff reasonably quickly here. I think even for Gideon's Gears, this was worth it. Gideon's Gears makes a lot of the later game rooms a lot easier. Just because we can destroy all of the uh, grimaces that come our way. Hello, Steven. Steven, the strange boss. A little bit of health up. A bit of look down and health up. Lovely. Maternal heart there as well. Why not? Is this doing damage to him? It doesn't look like it is, but... It, it very clearly is. Wow, okay. Okay. I think we have an easy time with this, to be honest. I think maybe the range ups don't affect this version of the Forgotten, you know. Because I feel like I should have more range than this right now. You know the range up mod that we've got that changes how range ups, range ups affect us. I mean, that maybe it doesn't work. Right. Sit you there. Do your thing. You can kind of chill out until you're dead. Thank you. Let's 
got them bees everywhere. It's kind of slow going here, but this is champion air boss rush as well, isn't it? It's always an interesting one. I love the fact that if you get a champion mother version, you get a champion boss rush. I think that's a really fun idea. I always wonder if that was intentional design or if that's just kind of how it worked out. Because, because that like, is this room an extension of the mum fight? Health down. Good, good, good. Oh, I did not expect you to throw a firebomb at me. I wasn't ready for that. Like I said, it's slow going here, but it's not bad. Okay, that's you taken care of. What was it taken care of exactly, but gotten out of the way. Ah, oh, there was a fucking spider underneath me. Wasn't there a half soul heart somewhere about? Did I already get that? I think I did. And we got techno pin as well here. Dude, we're killing Chubby, big boy, mega fatty, that quickly. I think we're, think we're absolutely fine. Okay, I just wanted to check something there. I let him jump because I was checking if he did two lightning strikes. Dude, we're getting so many fucking range downs. Really don't want more range down, please. I ain't taking look down or range down. Well, I do not like this situation. I don't think I've fought you before, to be honest, this champion version. It's a very annoying champion version for this character. Yeah, there's just, just not much I could do against that. Okay, all good. We've got to be near to done now, I think. No range down, god damn it. The slow down music's so funny. Just makes everything so somber and chill. I'm trying to throw this up at everyone. Another eternal heart there that gives us a soul heart at least. Something, I guess. Not quite a soul heart, but it's just a soul heart with extra steps. Right, come on, we've got to be close. It's hard to tell how close we are just because how slow things is, are going. Death animations are slower, the fight itself is slower. But seriously, another range down. Seriously, it's another range down. My god, leave me alone with the range downs. I've got like four in this one room. Like, where's the tears up, please? <laughs> where's the balls of steel, please? Can't just keep throwing me the same shit over and over again. Hey, there you go. And we got ourselves Lawn Dart, which I think should be decent for us if it works. Okay, let's keep it going. Remember that we're going Dark Path this time around. I think. There you go, look. Dude taken care of. The great thing about it as well is... When it takes care of them, there's a decent chance that it gives us a black heart as well. In certain rooms, that can yield you a lot of HP. Um, don't think that really does anything for us. I'll hold out for a reroll, I guess. Not that I'm super likely to get one, but just in case, because I actually don't think that does anything for us as his character, as a soul heart health character in general. Ooh, there you go. There's a first eternal chest. Lovely. Been waiting on one of them for my trinket. Right, more keys is always good. Right, come on, give us something good. I mean, keys when you pay out is is pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's an extra life at least. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a bugged extra life though, because even if you get better extra lives, or you have other ones first. It still gives you that one. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Okay, 
That's a way up for this guy. Right, crawl space. Wow. Very lackluster crawl space right there. Unless... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, I thought maybe I could break through the wall into the uh, black market, but that doesn't actually look to be the case at all. God damn. Weird hearing the music go from slow down to sped up as well. Ooh, we have enough damage to, to blast right through these guys. Certain scenarios. Not much there we can grab. Wow. <laughs> you are likely to be demolished either way. How did I not get hit there? Wow. What did I just do? Exactly. I, I'm a little unsure about what I just did. I think I just accidentally popped my stars card. It led us here though. And it gave us a black heart and a health down. Way. Right, let's go do that again. <laughs> I think it does damage as well, do you see that? It's quite a lot of damage when I popped it. Okay. We are good. Unfortunately not the best of items to get, but can get some decent stuff out of this. Balls of steel, finally. We got 420. 420 on our uh, thingy as well. On our look. Beautiful. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? It's not going to stop. Oh, I think we had a uh, thingy room in there. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to press your booty back together, please? Okay, no. That's a big fat no. God damn. Very bad damage to take there. Always clutch doing his stupid thing. Another lockdown. Dude, the lockdowns are mental. They just don't go away. Got a pretty good room to be slowed, to be fair. It's like annoying the cat hit that guy. And what are you doing, big sir? Clutch, I saw you that time. He does the laugh because he knows. He knows he's a little shit. There's a black heart finally. For God's sake. L the laser rooms are. I never thought about how annoying they are. Okay. We can zoom away though. Into the wrong way. Lovely. Dude, oh my god, they have a lot of HP. We don't have bombs to get out of here. We do have clutch if we want to use clutch to bomb out of places, but... I'll be honest, I don't... Even though this, the only reason I took him is for unlimited bombs, I'll never use him because I hate him. There's another black heart for us. Told you, it's very, very good. Another range down, another look down. The only pills in existence. Only pills to ever exist. Clutch, I will wait on you for this. I said I'd never use you, but I will wait on you for this. Golden battery, unfortunately, doesn't do much for us. Okay. Slightly able to use you to block shots, but not properly. Not properly. Try and skip and step through these. Angel deal. Beautiful. Okay, we've got golden key as well for this, so we can actually get the payout from these. I think these should always end in an item. Like, the, the fact they can do that is so annoying. Yep. 
What a bust. Right, up we go. Ah, bollocks, we weren't meant to go up, were we? Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's just going to end the run earlier. It doesn't actually make a difference, but that's a little annoying. Um, excuse me? How do I... Oh my lord. It's kind of nice. Twice as fast fire rate for less accuracy. We don't need accuracy anyways. Yes, this extra fire rate is very, very nice. Oh, that was a bank shot and a half. Do you see that? Okay, I've got to be careful. Where the hell's my balls of steel pill, please? <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I'm taking too much damage here. More bombs, please. No item payout, though. And bursting sack. Not the best of payouts, I wouldn't say. Gotta be a bit more careful here. See your clutch. I know you're doing it. I was ready that time. I'm watching you now. I'm very closely watching you. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I wonder what angel item we'll get. I, I want the soul heart, so you know I'm going to get an angel item that's crap. Oh no, we got the soul heart. Lovely. That's what I was hoping for. Honestly, look down at this point, I might just use on the boss anyways. Um, I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, bloody hell. Another looker. Hey, another eternal chest. Okay, this is good. Please, for once, give us an item, though. Damn, these chests are terrible at the moment for us. Not really helps at all. Epidermolysis. Okay. Dude, we're getting so many of these right now. For once, give us an item, please. Good that we have golden keys, but no. Never giving us an item. It'll never love us enough. We must be close to the boss now. I feel like we've gone quite far. Dude. <laughs> Apparently not close, not far enough. Okay, clutch is ready to go. Oh my god, this room's horrible. We got through it though. And another one! Damn, this trinket's amazing, man! If only it would do something useful for us at some point. Dude, these chests, man. Right, this is the last boss because I messed things up. My bad. But we'll, we'll check if our streak is still there. Otherwise, I'll have to go console command and reiterate uh, what will be 47. Which is pretty awesome. 47 is a good streak to get on. I did not think we'd be getting up to 47. I thought I'd make a dumb mistake at some point. But we are killing it right now. Okay, we're good to go. 
That is our run. And there you go. Right, let's quickly just check to see if I do need to reinstate my streak. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll do that after this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.